Hi, everyone. As just mentioned, my name is Wendy, and today I will be sharing a part of my story. So I grew up in Albany. Um, I was from a loving Christian family. Um, I got the privilege of being a part of Trude Street Church. Um, this is where I first met Shafin and Jess. They used to be my youth leaders back in the day at One Life. Um, when I was in year eight, I had a strong encounter with God. Um, this definitely started my relationship with him and from there I've had a very special relationship with him. Um, when I was in year nine, I started dating Jack Jorovich, man at the back with the dreads. Um, Jack's my best friend and he's been a constant support um, in my life for over the past six years now. Um, after graduating year 12, I moved to Perth to study sport teaching and I'm still currently in that degree. Um, I've been involved with Everlife since the very beginning. Um, I attend the Como dinner party, which is amazing. And I'm currently serving in kids, media and in youth. Um, when I first moved to Perth, um, God slowly started to become less of a priority in my life. I always knew that he was real and I always had some special connection with him. However, I allowed myself to get too busy with work or social occasions that um, my relationship with him sort of became more distant. Um, for over a year and a half, me and Jack were searching for a church that suited us both. We had, we'd sort of go to church uh, for a couple of weeks and then not feel right and then not be in a church for a month or so and then try a new church and so on. Um, but when I heard about Everlife, I really felt that this was where God wanted me to be. Um, because it was one thing to have faith on my own, but it's something special to be surrounded by that community. Um, it just makes your faith so much stronger and more powerful, and Everlife has definitely been that community for me. Um, Everlife came at a time in my life when I definitely needed it most. Um, I actually missed the very first dinner party because I was having surgery on my knee. For those of you that don't know, nine months ago, I tore my ACL and meniscus in a basketball game and needed a knee reconstruction. This was an emotionally challenging time for me. I couldn't do any of my normal activities. I couldn't work, study or drive. I couldn't walk and even doing activities as simple as getting food from the kitchen and taking it to the table was a real mission. Um, through this time, I really pressed into God and my relationship with Him really strengthened. I wasn't going to let those negative emotions that come with doing a bad injury get me down. Every time I had a negative thought, flipped it into a positive and I was, you know, pushing through. And dinner parties was a large part of this journey for me. I um, really prioritised dinner parties in, my in this time and I definitely felt supported and encouraged through, through the whole journey. Um, unfortunately... Three months after surgery, I found out that I had retorn my meniscus and that I had scar tissue holding down my kneecap, um, stopping me from bending past 50 degrees. Uh, this meant surgery for a second time. Um, this was a really low point for me. I started to believe that I was never going to get better. Um, I felt like I was taking a step backwards instead of forwards in my recovery. And I started to get really depressed. However, Everlife definitely helped me through this. And um, I knew that I had people around me that cared and loved for me and that I wasn't alone. Um, before I knew it, um, I was getting a lot better. This surgery had been successful and my recovery was coming along a lot quicker. I could bend my knee more and more. Um, I was back to working and driving and studying again. Uh, the physio was really happy with my progress. However, I still had a lot of pain. And I began to believe that I was going to have this pain for the rest of my life. I had accepted that. Um, and that was really hard. Um, but thankfully, on the 31st of May, I was at Everlife Youth. Uh, the Spirit led us to pray for healing. 
And next thing I knew, I was sitting down, surrounded by all the youth leaders, um, as we together believed, believed for full healing in my knee. Um, as I was sitting there, I really felt God's love stronger than I had ever felt before. I kept repeating in my head, I know that you can heal me, God, but whatever, whatever happens, I will love you. Um, as soon as I stood up and bent my knee, I knew that I was healed. I had no pain after nine months. <laughs> I really felt um, God's love and so much joy in this moment. I can now run and jump. I feel so much freer. Um, yeah, I always knew that God could heal and I never doubted this quality of His, but I couldn't believe that God had healed me. And this was a really special thing for me. So it's been just over two weeks since that night. And I'm just loving and enjoying being pain-free. And I want you to know that if you are going through a hard time not to give up, that God is there and God loves you and God can heal you. And I'm a testimony to that. And everyone should be able to experience that. So I'll hand it back to you, Flip.